Hi, everyone. We're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. D.A., it's all yours. Well, thank you very much. Now, the NBA has accepted that this is an era of player movement. Commissioner Adam Silver says the data shows that superstars moving isn't necessarily a bad thing because it allows situations to change. Teams that may not be in a competitive position hope that they can sign one of those players. And as we know, Kevin, hope springs eternal. It always does. It keeps the fans involved and looking for more. David, thanks. Now the starting group for the visitors. We've got Van Carroll. Young is out there with Ingram. Then it's Paul George. Stephen Curry's out there with LeBron James. And there's Davis. And it's Durant. And it's Leonard in at the three. The small forward. With the regular season just getting started, what's it like for rookies, Greg, who are beginning these new pro careers? But let me tell you, Kevin, the speed of the pro game is startling. It, things are happening so fast, it can take years for the game to slow down. Here's Young. Ingram outside. Pass to George from outside the arc. Kept alive. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Pass to KD. James looking around. Down to five on the shot clock. Let's it go with a three. Paul George grabs the miss. And the pass to Ben Carroll. George with the ball. From deep. And James pulls it down. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check and was maybe a step out of his range. Now, Bancaro. After the missed three from Stephen Curry. An elite prospect with very few holes in his game. Bancaro can score from all three levels, makes plays for others. Terrific rebounder, and the list goes on and on. And the first one at the line is good. Many scouts had Van Caro as the safest pick in the draft. Uh, would you agree? He and maybe Jabari Smith Jr. Uh, what separates Van Caro a little, he's an elite back to the basket scorer. Those guys have become increasingly harder to find. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Gone 0 of 2 from deep here. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Gone 1 of 3 from the field to start this one so far. And George kicks to Young. Ingram outside. Passes it to George. His three pointers off the mark. Gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. Leonard, no luck. They are 0 for the game thus far. 0 of 4 here. Still looking for their first mate. 
Outside, George. Pass to Van Carroll. It's Young on the wing. Basket counts. A sneaky score in the lane. Young will give you a steady diet of floaters and off-balance shots that defenders just miss getting a piece of. Now here's James. Pass to Leonard. To stop the drought. That's good on the jump shot. And boy, did they need that one. Their first make in the five field goal attempts they've had. Ingram passes to Young. And trains it from beyond the arc. Young's got five points so far. What quickness from Young on that play. He gets the ball and gets to his release with great quickness. Leonard, no luck. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Davis against Young. Davis dishes to LeBron. From outside, off the mark. Gone just one of four from three-point range here in the first. George against Leonard for three. Ingram. It's hauled in by LeBron. Oats it up for Davis. Very pretty alley -oop layup. Yeah, you know, it's like the game is in slow motion for LeBron. He sees the entire floor and sees it so well, knows what's coming, and usually always makes the right pass. Now, here is Young. He has five. Ingram with it. Picked up by Davis. And it's Ingram missing. Gone just two of eight shooting so far. Just uh, 25%. And it's slammed in by Davis. So smooth, so fluid, effortless, yet powerful. When Davis gets positioning like that, he's trying to dunk it. Young against Kerr. No one near Van Caro as he lets it go. The basket good off the assist from Young. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Outside Durant. The rebound by Paul George gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Kicks to Young. Back to George. Here's the screen. That three off the mark. Putting up a goose egg. Bagel this period. At this point, you have to run the offense through somebody else. I mean, that's your only choice. Here's Curry. And he makes that one. Would have been impossible for KD to miss his teammate there. He was wide open. Gone 4 of 10 shooting the ball here in the first quarter. Leonard against Young. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Now the pass to Leonard. Curry outside. And Carroll grabs the board. Just doing the job on the backboard. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And, and they look strong here in the early going. Five on the clock. Young, no good. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And it's Davis with the jam. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. And never say never, but we might never see another player who combines the length and guard skills of Kevin Durant. He's a player who completely breaks the mold. Yeah, let's check out some numbers here for James Harden. Great showing for him last season and amongst the league's top-tier scorers, top 20 in points per game. And back to him finishing runner-up in assists, his court vision, his ability to control the pace of a game makes him especially impossible to defend. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Harden. Durant with it. 17 points in his last outing. And stolen by Cordes. 
The dish to Edwards. Thompson for the triple. And Tatum pulls it down. And when you think about Durant's singularity as a player, Steve Kerr said he's more gifted than Michael Jordan. Greg, what do you think of that? Well, Steve's had a first-hand view coaching KD and playing alongside Jordan. He didn't say greater, but more gifted. I think it's a conversation. Portis can't get it to go. 36% in this first quarter trying to get their bearings. Brown, good. Hey, guys, that's just outstanding confidence from Brown. I mean, getting up with the shot right away and giving the defense no time to react, that's impressive. Thompson finds Portis. Offensive rebound. Now here's Brunson. No one near Edwards as he lets it fly. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Passes to Harden. Here's Tatum. Rebounded by Jackson. In this first quarter, around 38%. They're looking a bit creaky out there. And here's Edwards. Back to Brunson. There's the three. It's hauled in by Brunt. It's Morant in the corner. Offline with his three. Thompson with it. Picked up by Brown. Here's Brunson. Here's Thompson. He's now one for two with that bucket. I really believe we can go ahead now and lock Clay Thompson in on the short list of the greatest pull-up shooters in the NBA. And we might be talking the all-time list here. Now here's Durant. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Tatum wide open. He fires one. No good with the triple. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Back to Edwards. Jackson setting the pick here for Edwards. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. It's Morant in the corner. And he banks in the layup. And it just seems like Morant is always ready to outwork the defense. A big effort pays off for him there inside. Oh, here's Edwards. Portis, the pass to Thompson. A three-pointer, no good. Thompson's gone one of three on the night. Harden dishes to Durant. 35 seconds left here in the first quarter. And it's Morant missing. Pass to Brunson. There's 21 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Fades. And it's Durant with the rebound. Take what's available. Use the fadeaway when the defender's there on you. Shoots from the baseline. A shot off that time. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Leading by four. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. Yeah, and you know, when a team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. And the home team has possession. Trailing by four. They host the Spurs after this one. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. So with Harden on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Booker. Then it's Kyrie Irving. Then there's Davis. And it's Mitchell in at the two spot. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Kevin Durant learned an important lesson at age 11. His dad cooked him one-on-one. -on -one dunking on him and talking trash. Durant started crying and he locked himself in his room, but he came to realize, what am I so mad at? It's good to be passionate, but channel it. 
Once you're off the court, leave it and go back to being you. Kevin? Great advice. David, thanks. Young's shot is off. And we played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Irving against Young. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Trey Young. And Kyrie Irving, a Picasso with the ball in his hands. And like a lot of genius level creators, he marches to the beat of his own drum. First one falls for him. And you know, Greg, Kyrie sometimes is just a tough guy to figure out. And the danger is pulling too much in your own direction. Even he confessed regrets about including withdrawing from teammates and isolating himself. All part of growth. That one drops. He ties it up. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Halliburton is screen on Irving. Young from outside. Good on the triple. Young's got 10. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. Mitchell passes to Booker. Outside, Davis. Shot clock at six. Bridges against Booker. Drills the elbow jumper. Booker's got his first two points of the night. And the defense works hard on Booker, and they have to. His pure shooting ability will not be denied. Loads it up for Davis, and it's slammed in by Davis. There's no stopping that. AD is too long and strong to bother that alley-oop. Young against Irving. And a wide-open look for Halliburton. Drills it from outside. Halliburton's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Pass to Davis. Irving looking for an opening. Mitchell wide open. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Well, his IQ is one of the best in the league. Irving has a great feel for when his teammates are open. Young against Irving. Outside for Halliburton. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Halliburton's got his second basket of the night. Halliburton against Mitchell. Now, here is Irving. He's covered closely. Hits the three-point bomb. He has seven. And, you know, the improvement we've seen over the years from Leonard has been incredible, especially his three-point shooting. Halliburton outside. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Here's Mitchell. Excellent defense there from Halliburton. Gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. Bancaro kicks to Halliburton. And a miss there on the triple. Gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. In the corner, Irving with it. From the arc. Here's Davis, and it's slammed in by Davis. Well, Davis, so dominant, so strong, so athletic, so skilled. He got everything he wanted right there. Halliburton passes to Van Carroll. Young inside. He's covered by Irving. Shots good from Young. Oh, check out the handles. They're nasty. Spin move had his man grabbing for air. Mitchell dishes to Booker. Outside, Davis. And we see stars, Clark, that dominate with skill. Others do it more with athleticism. Which would you prefer to build around if you were coaching? If I had to only pick one, Kevin, I, obviously I'd like to have both skill and athleticism. But skill is so critically important in any sport, particularly basketball. Guys that can shoot, handle the ball, pass it, and do the fundamental things well. And um, I think that trumps athleticism over the long haul. And here is Davis. After Tyrese Halliburton was able to get the triple. Booker is screen on Young. 
Irving with it, and Young picks him up defensively. They get it back. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. And the foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That's his first foul. So Mike Budenholzer decides to take a timeout here. A moment here to look at the numbers for George. Last season, he played outstanding. He averaged 24 per clip, seven rebounds, and five assists. And you talk about guys who just have a nose for putting up points. He is one of them. Yeah, he sure is, and he rarely has back-to-back -back bad games. If he has an off night, he usually follows that up with a big night. Bridges kicks to Halliburton. Dishes to George. Back to Halliburton. And Halliburton slams it in. Oh, nice work finding the open man by George. Plays like this prove he's a team player. Curry finds Leonard. Now Booker. They need this. Another shot. And the layup good by Lillard. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter. But starting to show signs of life. Sometimes, for whatever reason, a lot of times you, you don't know why. It takes a little while to work the knots out, but it looks like they're putting it together right now. Here's George. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness! Oh, yeah. What a play! Yeah, you know, George really enjoys being in the air. I mean, this guy has great body control and bounce, and his slams at times can be absolutely sick. Leonard with no one around. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Well, I'd have to say Lillard is one of the game's best passers right now. And there's the pass to Ingram. George with no one around. Good on the three-point shot. George has got five points now this quarter. And it seemed like they couldn't get anything to fall in that opening quarter, but you can just feel the momentum starting to shift. Yeah, things are starting to look up. I mean, they're making amends for that slow start. Finding a rhythm right now. Booker, no good. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. And you love the work Ingram has put into his shot. You, you can put him in the corner now and force the defense to extend. Here's Lillard and Damian Lillard with the jam. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Hey, I thought there was some style there, guys. What are you guys looking at? I mean, it was still a pretty sweet, flavorful one-hand flush. The shot by George, no good. You know, guys, you can tell he wants to contribute more, but his teammates have picked up the slack for him. That's what being on the team is all about. Now here's Lillard. He dishes it to James. Booker outside. Shot clock at five. Over George. Misses off the left iron. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch. And the game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch. A shot's good from LeBron. Off a hot feed right there, LeBron. Automatic. Halliburton passes to George. He's covered by Leonard. Pass to Bridges. Down low. And slam dunk by Ingram. Great screen that time by George. Well done. Being at 44%, pretty reasonable. And you look at the way Ingram can get off a shot. When he gets to his spots, there's just no stopping him. Very few players can create like he can. Now here's LeBron. We saw him with 19 points his last outing. Curry on the wing. Launches a three, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Lillard. Lillard's got three assists now in this one. Halliburton passes to Ingram. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Ingram's got eight points. After having none in the first, he gets two three-point shots to go here. 
Outside Curry. Takes the three. His shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries. Shooting 50%. He's starting to find himself out there now. You know, he's taking much better shots here in the second quarter. Now eight seconds separate in the two clocks. He lobs up the alley-oop pass. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Halliburton all about getting his teammates open looks. Does such a great job with his unselfishness making the pass. And it's Lillard missing. Halliburton against Curry. In the corner, it's Ingram. Let's it go from deep. No good that time. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Up by three. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. First up on the show tonight, a quick look ahead of some upcoming games on the docket. And that game against the Spurs, Clash of the Titans, going against the best team in the NBA. You have to minimize your turnovers, take good shots, and make big plays and big shots. That's a lot to ask, but that's what it's going to take. Being a trunk slammer ain't easy. Hostile environment, and <laughs> these guys are unfazed. Yeah, it's tough to win on the road in the NBA. Loving the confidence. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game that's been so far. It's been one outstanding game from Trey Young. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of and if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And on the floor for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. Ingram is out there with Trey Young. Then there's Ben Carroll. Then it's Paul George. Now Ben Carroll. Ingram outside. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And Carroll's got seven points in the game. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. As to Leonard. And here is Curry. Off target from three-point range. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Van Carroll kicks to Ingram. Young from outside. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. Outstanding decision making by Ingram there. Working it to the open man. Really good possession. Pass to James. Right side Leonard. Over George. And it's Leonard missing. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Guarded by Kirk. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. KD passes to Davis. Over Van Carroll. And Davis can't get it to go. Clearly out of sync to begin this half. Oh, for their first three attempts. And the foul called on Kawhi Leonard. That is his first foul of the game. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. George with the ball. Picked up by Davis. The shot's good. 
He's got six. Boy, George is an outstanding player, actually one of the very best in the league in these screen and roll sets. He knows exactly what to do. Harden the pass to Curry. Offensive struggles continue, missing again. Ingram deciding where to go with it. George against Curry. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Oh, wow. Four or five to start the half. Coming out on fire. Gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And it's Davis missing. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much. The reviews have been good for the league's moves to eliminate foul calls on non-basketball moves. The NBA said it wanted the game to be played, not manipulated. Draymond Green says it helps to know that you'll have more of a fair opportunity as a defender. Guys can't just cheat the system. Kevin, back to you. That's great to see, David. Thank you. Taking a look here at some numbers for Trey Young. He's coming off an excellent season. Last year, checking in at 28 points per game. Nine assists and three rebounds. And his playmaking really stands out, making his teammates better offensively with his terrific passing. Yeah, he's outstanding at controlling the tempo. I mean, keeps the ball moving and, of course, finds the open man. Morant against Young. Morant passes to Harden. And the three ball is good. Harden's got himself on the board with three there. Um, you've got to come to expect this from Harden. I mean, he'll take whatever the perimeter defense gives him, and that's the sign of a really smart player. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Van Carroll with the ball. Tatum on him. That one drops for him. Van Carroll's got his third basket of the night. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Tatum no good. Gone five of six so far from the field in the second half. Tremendous efficiency. Young against Morant. Shoots the three. John ja Morant grabs the rebound. Gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Tatum on the wing. To the middle. KD can't get it to go. With confidence, 50% from the field so far. There's the pass to Young. Jackson with the screen. Stepped in the line, out of bounds there, and that will cost them the possession. And we've got a moment now to look at the highest scoring teams in the NBA from last season. I just loved how this team attacked their opponents. You could see their confidence grow as the year went on, and the points really started to pile up. And they're staring at a sizable deficit. And still within reach, though, that they don't have to rush things. It's stolen by Bankero. Outside Edwards. Young outside, beyond the arc. And it's KD with the rebound. KD's got five rebounds tonight. And there's already a loyalty aspect to Van Carroll's makeup, starting with the tribute to the city he grew up in. He literally takes Seattle everywhere he goes. You look at the tat on his right bicep. It has the Seattle skyline, Mount Rainier, the street he grew up on. In terms of his character, that indicates deep roots and a solid foundation he can build on. Edwards, that's good. Edwards got five now. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Morant sets a screen for KD. And the basket is good. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Gone six of nine from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. Here's Young. Buried from 15 feet out. 17 points in the game. Every game, you expect Young to have some scoring bursts. But tonight, he has been on auto drive. 
Morant passes to Durant. Wow, came this close to a four-point boy. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Yeah, you, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. Yeah, unnecessary. I mean, make them earn those points from deep. Don't give them to them free at the line. And he hits the first of three. Well, when KD asked out, you knew the Nets would get a King's Ransom. Perhaps the biggest star trade we've seen in decades. But with KD on this team, they are right in the thick of it as far as contending. Irving's checked in for James Harden. Good on the second free throw. Hard to imagine Durant not going down as one of the great scorers this league has ever seen. As a matter of fact, that's a given, folks. Dynamic, explosive, and he's consistent year in and year out. And he nails the third. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. Runs in the pass to Edwards. To Brunson for three. It's rebounded by Durant. Durant's got six rebounds now in the game. Tatum finds Durant. Morant with it. Edwards defending. Passes it to Brown. Over Thompson. And there's Katie. That's good on the assist by Irving. Irving's got his fourth assist in this one. So Mike Budenholzer decides to take a time out here. And you knew things were going south for Irving and the Nets when they couldn't agree on a contract. He was eventually traded and is a big talent boost to this team. And Kyrie still has all the talent in the world, even if it comes with some risk. Lillard's checked in for Morant. And now a look at the numbers for Edwards. Last year, getting it done. And amongst the league's top-tier scorers, top 20 in points per game. And as we saw last season, a difficult guy to run the offense against. Constantly jumping the passing lanes. Always, always a threat to create a turnover. Here is Edwards. Five points in the game. Pass to Brunson. Outside Edwards. That falls. Nice feed that time from Brunson. Brunson's got three assists tonight. Lillard from outside sinks the triple. Lillard's got seven points in the game. The real come at us. And we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Brunson. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Goes up the baseline. Irving can't hit. Going a less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. Pass to Brunson. Johnson surveying the floor. Thompson for three. Kyrie Irving grabs the miss. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And here's KD for three. Gone 8 of 14 on their shot attempts here in the third. Some pretty nice work. Now here's Brunson. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Edwards kicks to Portis. He used that pick to get in close. Unselfish. As somebody who already draws a lot of defensive attention, Edwards has to be willing to make that next pass. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. So it's both teams making substitutions here. One thirty nine left in the third quarter. Here's Irving. Johnson with the block. That 
Halliburton against Lillard. Fader on the way, and it's Halliburton missing. Being 41% for the game. Irving for three. Trills the three-pointer. Irving's got five. You know, the threat of Irving's drive can open up looks for him from the perimeter, and he is a gifted scorer, folks. Irving against Brunson. Halliburton outside. The pass to Portis. Puts it up from 12. Lillard with the rebound. And mark that one down right there. It's going to be a long time until we see him miss another one like that. He gets it in there. A, a monster down low. LeBron James, the rare package of skill, size, and athleticism. Portis, the pass to Halliburton. And it's off from three-point range. Gone three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. And that one's good, James. He has seven. And one of those players who will not be denied. LeBron's so strong inside. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. Lillard from outside. That one doesn't drop. The third quarter comes to a close. Up by four. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When he's running the show, he makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. Being 48% from the field, not bad at all. So with Irving on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. We've got Stephen Curry. Anthony Davis is out there with LeBron James. And it's Mitchell, and it's Leonard in at the small forward. LeBron kicks to Mitchell. Davis, the pass to Curry. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Here's Ingram. Young outside. Launches it. And Davis pulls it down. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. George against Leonard. That's tipped. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Young's shot is good. He's putting on a commanding performance here. He's hit two three-pointers in each half now. Jackson against LeBron. Mitchell with it. Outside, Davis. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. They grab their own miss. Looking from the field, 44%, not bad. Mitchell passes to Curry. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too, as a matter of fact. I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is. I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. Here's Young. In for another field goal. A sublime 9 of 14 on the night. And how about Young being active and getting after it on the glass? This type of play demonstrates leadership. Here's Leonard. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. A nice play call there. Down the stretch, getting him the open look. Yeah, I put that one on the defense. I mean, they can't leave him open at this stage. Passes it to Ingram. Fires for three. Here's Jackson, and that's good. A nice job on the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. 
Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. For three, Mitchell. Well, you got to put a body on Davis when he goes up in the air because if you don't, it's too late. You'll be Instagram. James against Jackson. Pass to George. Takes a three. Buries the long-range jumper. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical juncture. James outside. Pass to Mitchell. This one for three. And the rebound by Jaron Jackson. Jackson's got six rebounds now in the game. Ingram outside. Jackson a screen on Mitchell and it's young that time on the assist from Ingram Ingram's got three assists tonight and the passing of Ingram I mean setting up his teammates and distributing the ball the way he does effortless Mitchell kicks to James Leonard inside defended by George and it's Leonard missing Ingram passes to young Nailed from three-point land. Young's got 15 points in just the second half. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And so now a timeout called by Doc Rivers. Bank Carroll's checked in for Jackson. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Well, during the break, I listened in on Doc Rivers talking to the team. He said, if we're going to pull this out, we have to do it as a team. We have to rely on one another, trust one another, and help one another. Let's go get this. Kevin, back to you. Okay, David, thanks. Durant, the pass to Curry. Looking to end the run. It's deflected, and the ball ends up out of bounds. And they retain possession. And so out of bounds it goes. They'll keep possession. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. Off the inbound, Paul George with the steal. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Durant with it. Picked up by Bancaro. And it's Davis missing. Gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. Bancaro kicks to Young. Shoots over Curry. Shots good from Young. Young's got 12 points now in the quarter. Boy, what a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm, and he's really riding that wave right now. The pass to Curry. Good, and the assist goes to James. James has got four assists in the game. He's showing no signs of letting up here. Pass to Ben Carroll. And a deep three from Young. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Tatum dishes to James. Back to Tatum. Fires the three. Sinks the three-pointer. Tatum's got his first three points of the game. Tatum aggressively looking for his shot now. Preparing before the pass around. For three, Ingram. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Early on, he tried to shoot his way out of this funk. But later in the game now, he might want to just give it up and look for his teammates to do the score. The three from KD. It's hauled in by Trey Young. Gone through the fourth quarter shooting 50%. 7 of 14. Can't hit that one. 
Gone four and seven with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. Durant finds Curry, wants to get it to Tatum and does an emphatic alley-oop jam. And you know, if you throw it up, Tatum will go get it now. He's a really good athlete. You can't let him run free like that. Young against Curry. Here's the three. That's good from Van Carroll on the assist by Young. He had such a sweet three-point stroke there, and it can really open things up inside because as good as he shoots it, it forces the opposing bigs to have to step out on the perimeter. Outside, Davis. He kicks it to Curry. Lock at six. Offensive rebound. Durant, a beautiful reverse layup. He didn't have a single point in the first half. Bagel, zero points, nada. But he's starting to get into the groove here in the second. Ingram passes to Young. There's a screen. And it's Curry with the rebound. Got a pretty good rhythm going offensively. Shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. James, left side. Misses the three. Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. Here's Curry, and he gets it to go. Curry's got 11 points here in just the second half. And with a limitless jump shot, the elusive ball handling skills, Curry can get a bucket pretty much whenever he wants. On the wing, George. Out to the right wing. Or the three, and Tatum pulls it down. 53% from the field in the fourth quarter. Can't ask for more than that from your offense. Davis kicks to Curry. Durant just inside the line. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. He's so clutch. When the pressure is at its highest, that's when he's at his very best. From 15 feet away, George, no good. Doing pretty well at 46% from the floor. Durant, the pass to James. Davis dishes to Curry. 115 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Back to Davis. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Anthony Davis showing you he's in control when the spotlight is on. Leonard, he's checked in for Jason Tatum. And that one falls for Anthony Davis. And you just knew he wasn't going to miss that one. Not with so much riding on. So Mike Budenholzer decides to take a timeout here. So it's the visitors now. It's a three-point game. Will it go? Gets the bucket and the foul. It's on Kevin Durant. And because of Paul George's composure and even-keeled nature, his teammates have great trust in him in these situations. Anthony Davis has caught five. And
And here's George. Jackson is screen on Leonard. From deep, George. Anthony Davis with the rebound. And I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. Yeah, smart move. Can't afford any wasted possessions down the stretch. The defense needs to be just as sharp, but it's not over yet. And an intentional foul right there. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. That's a good foul, though. I like that. I mean, clock management, crucial at this time of the game. First free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. A proven champion and a big-time performer. Kawhi wants to be the guy at the line in these close ones. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. A, a superstar who really kind of keeps to himself. Leonard truly leads by example in its produced titles. So Mike Budenholzer decides to take a timeout here. What do you think, guys? Uh, trying to stay alive. They've got to work quickly. They, they're going to draw up a play here, I think, to get a shot right off of the inbounds pass and not waste too much time at all. An important possession here. No doubt about it, partner. Very important. And so here's the home team. And now they foul and stop the clock. on the first and that puts them up by five. The thing about LeBron's career no matter where he's gone he has impacted winning at the highest level. Remarkable. And so he drops them both. It's a six point ball game. Those are critical foul shots. Love to see him knock them down there. And Carroll passes to George. Misses the deep three point attempt and now we've got the intentional foul. No choice but to foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. But there was no time really to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And it just seems like every year, Curry takes on even more responsibility for his team's success. And he does get the second one. And that makes it a seven-point lead. Here's Ben Carroll. And so they get the victory here at home. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges. All right, David, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Craig Anthony, and David Ohm, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long, everyone.